and he will be presenting the work title Design of Support Structures for a High Level Nuclear Waste Repository in Claystone Formations in Germany based on numerical analysis. Eric, thank you very much for your presentation and the floor is yours. Oh, thank you, Miguel. Can you hear me? I hope. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, perfect. So uh, thank you very much and, and hello everybody. So I'm, I'm quite happy to be here and I would like to use the opportunity to present some results of a research project we conducted last year uh, with um, other partner companies. So with the GMT in Germany and also with uh, uh, UNAM in Mexico with Miguel to, together. So the talk is about the design of support structures for a high level waste repository in Cleston uh, formation in Germany based on um, numerical analysis. So why we are doing that? Uh, Okay, so uh, clay formation are considered uh, for uh, to be a suitable roast rock for the disposal of, of high level waste uh, around the world, and in Germany, in particular, we have um, uh, almost uh, we selected nine uh, clay formations that are now under investigation to host um, the future high level waste repository for for Germany. So. Uh, Oh, uh, sorry, I think I started the, the wrong presentation. Uh, okay, this is uh, the, the right one. Sorry for that. Okay, so that's what, what I, I was saying. So, but the what was missing was the second the, the second point. So, the in order to build a repository in clay, we need to build on the ground facilities, and these facilities needs requires the, the construction of of of, of support structures, and that was the, basically the idea of of our project. So, we we, we wanted to develop a support structure for on the ground repository for for the repository mine of of a repository. In in, 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 in Clayston, and we did that based on uh, extensive numerical modeling. So before I continue, it's quite important for you to get an idea what a repository looks like. So I, I put here a, 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 a the architectural layout of one of the repository that we designed here in Germany. So you can see here uh, in this dash part, that's where you will have the shafts. The shafts go from the, 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 the surface up to 1000 meters or even more depending of the cliff of formation you are considered. So, and these panels that you are, you are seeing here or here, that's the, uh, the place where uh, the that's the emplacement field. So an, an emplacement field consists of, of several emplacement drift and in each drift you have waste package installed or dispose and after uh, uh, the, 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 the feeling of, of, of this uh, emplacement drift, the, the, the drift will be backfilled with clay materials and we will go to the next drift and open the drift and continue the process. So that's why we divided, let's say, this drift or let's say tunnels in the common language in two types. So we have short leaf drift, that's the drift where we have the waste installed this drift just uh, do, do just have a, um, a a service life of up to six months and we also have long leaf drift that's infrastructure drift that's the drift that will remain open up to the end of the operational uh, time of of the repository normally we assume 50 years but that can be more depending of the requirements as we will see later on so the methodology that we assume for this uh, uh, for this presentation uh, for for this project was uh, consists of uh, the first evaluation of the state of the art of support structure technology in place and 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 of course we also take a look of what other. Uh, uh, countries around the world um, are, are doing uh, for the, the same manner. The second thing that we, we, we did was we tried depend, uh, based on the uh, regulation in place to, to, to put together the requirements for the design of support structures for underground facilities um, for, for repositories in Germany. And then because the clay formation that we have, um, we are considering right now had not been investigated already, 
we try to take a look on on the properties of clearhouse rock in Europe, and based on that, we uh, we started the design process and we segregate here the design of the short lift and the design of the long lift infrastructure drifts. So, after at the end of the design, we not, we then try to have let's say to make the so-called system analysis. So we try to see how the support the tunnel the the support that we design will evolve over the time in interaction with the excavation damage zone and of course also the intact clear rock. So here you have some, uh, let's say, a brief overview of how, of well, what kind of, of tunnel support or let's say support structure we are uh, we are considering considering when we are talking about support structure for uh, a high clever waste repository. So you can see on the top left, uh, let's say the typical yieldable arch support that has been used over 100 years in Germany in cold mines. So that's the, just some kind of, of steel profile that can slide uh, together and then have, let's say, uh, let's say decrease the, 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 the section of, of the, the cross section of the drift. And then, and by doing that, limiting, let's say, the stresses acting on the support itself. So in the middle, at the top, you have a, let's say, a construction, a, a segmental uh, tunneling that is, let's say, quite standard to the, uh, to the around the world for, for infrastructure project. But if we go to the back, to the, to, to, to the, uh, uh, to the picture, in the middle at the at the bottom you can see that we can enhance this kind of construction by using yielding elements and that's the case here for the uh, for 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 the Eben Buren mine in Germany where you have here these these yellow parts that's kind of cylinder uh, 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 so cylinder piston press that can let's say decrease their their size and 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 doing that uh, allow the let's say the, 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 the tunnel to move and the cross section to close. A similar, uh, a similar technology, a similar design is also on the, on the bottom right where you have some, a, a, different, a different system where there are metal sheets that can just crush together and then let the, 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 the load the deformability of the system. Here in Germany, also done by our company, we have the Konrad, Konrad Mai, where a similar system has been employed. In this case, there is nothing that has been installed. We just let the, the, the avoid between the uh, these short crate segments uh, and and we let the the, the 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 rock just converge and close these 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 segments. And after several years, when the the, the, the process will be completed, we will just install a second uh, lining system uh, in order to operate the repository. This is a also a repository, but not of high level waste. But this case is uh, for low level waste. So the final system I want to present is here. Uh, we can also uh, allow the, uh, the, the, the rock to move and to have a, a greater compressibility and deformability by using a compressible materials. That's what Andra, the waste management organization in France is, is, is doing. So the, basically what will happen here of these clay, uh, clay pellets, uh, that they will just crush together and, 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 and doing so they will let the, 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 the uh, the rock move and without increasing the stresses in the concrete segment uh, below. So these are the starting point of, of, of our work. And in order to do that, we need also some requirements that should be considered for, uh, for, for the design. And they are coming from several standards, several laws, several uh, 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 regulations. For instance, the Stand AG, that's the, the, the site selection law in Germany for what's the law which, let's say, which uh, uh, um, preaching about the repositories in Germany uh, requires that the repository has to be built at a depth of at least 300 meters. So that means that we already have to do with a lot of stresses because the deeper you get, the higher, the higher will be the stresses acting on your tunnels or on your drift, uh, drift or mines. So of course, we also have to, 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 to have a certain, uh, 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 a minimum set, uh, cross section for, for, for the drift because you have to allow a lot of traffic of, of the implant machineries of the even the retrieval machine machineries you also have to, to, to deal with cask with diameters of up to three meters so or two meters so 
in order to do that, we need a lot of space and a lot of 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 of, of diameters where you 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 also have to work in. Uh, so the the next uh, thing, the very important for our project is of course the service life of several jikis that should be considered for for the uh, um, during the operation time uh, of the of the repository but much important is that if it's decided as is also required by law that the drift the waste package that has been in place will be some time in the future retrieved that means we will increase the, the operational time up to 100 years so that that's one thing that should be considered of course the operation safety should be also uh, 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 ensured and of course not at the uh, what not without compromising the long-term safety here you have uh, an overview of the uh, mechanical properties of clay horse rock in Europe. So one can see that that uh, you have some clay from Belgium, from from Switzerland, Germany, uh, France, and uh, and Russia. So when when we are seeing that, okay, we can see that the compressive strength uh, of the rock is um, uh, vary up from 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 ten to to uh, to, to thirty megapascal. The blue colors is the lower estimate, and the red color is the highest estimate of the same parameters. So we can see that the e model is also uh, varying quite a lot depending of the kind of rock you are using. So we also if we we can we can fit all this this rock together with uh, even an exponential function we can see like that and we have the highest uh, uh, young modelers i think in the opalinus clay in, in 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 germany and switzerland on the other hand one can see that the friction angle doesn't vary is varies a lot so we have a consistent average of 25 degrees and even the cohesion can be set around the three to, to 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 four megapascal, I will say. So the other one are not uh, uh, we don't have parameters or are not clay stone, but they are clay. So this was let's say the uh, the, the requirements and the background that we started we, we had it for for the design that I want to present right now. So in the um, in the repository concept that we have now in Germany, we were assuming this kind of 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 section so they, they are kind of uh, r shaped section and and inside you can see that uh, the cross section vary uh, varies depending of 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 what uh, of their function i will say so you have here a, a diameter of three meters for this this uh, um uh, for this kind of section and and depending of what will be what the, the, the section will be the tree will be used you they, they are increased up to i think 5.5 meters so that was the starting point we wanted to test this assumption and in order to do that we uh, we had uh, to uh, we, we tried to use uh, some we made some several analysis where we vary not only the cross section but also the 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 the, the technology that will be used for to design the, the the support structure. We did that here exemplary for uh for a depth of one of. 1000 meters is strength of 15 megapascal and we also considered a bitching thickness of the clay package of, of, of 30 centimeters so if we just start if we start with this uh, r shape uh reef, that will be the picture in the middle uh, we can see that um using this kind of, of of geometry leads to a lot of 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 damage in the rock so we have here a convergence of 29 percent uh that's mean if you have Three meter drift at the end, you will have the cheapest and less of that. That's mean two meters. So one meters is gone. So that's what it's not something that we want. So that's is the, the a case without support. So if we just add a, 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 a anchor system, we'll see that okay, that does not add a lot of, 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 of advantage. So we will still have a lot of damage and 27% of. Uh, uh, 27% of convergence. So now, if you if we add some this, if you use this yieldable arch supports that we are using in the in, in the German coal mine, we can see that okay, we already have uh, less damage and we can decrease the, the convergence to 10%. So the next type of of, of geometry that we investigated were rectangular geometries, and one can see here that they are not suitable for 
for any kind of application at this at higher depths. You can see here there's a lot of damage and uh, and a, a convergence ratio of 50%. So that means three meters at the end you get 1.5 meters uh, left in your uh, drift section. So the Thanks. best kind of drift that can be used or that should be used, of course, to see that is uh, the the this, uh, is the uh, uh, it's, a, it's a cycle, cycle cross section, circular cross section, and in this case here, this is a kind of rigid cross section where you have almost no convergence. That means you need to have a higher concrete strength in order to, uh, in order to support all these the, the, the stresses that will uh, uh, will occur in the in, in the tunnel section. But this is not always the best the the, 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 the the best way to do that. A second way will be of course to have to use these yielding elements that I presented in the beginning, uh, using that uh, a low, uh, a low, let's say, a, a reduce the stress in the in, in the system, but increase the damage. So that's one uh, takeaway that uh, should be said here. So it's possible to it's to, the, the the idea will be to to manage the the the, 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 the let's say the the, the the strengths of, 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 of the system and also the, the deformability of the system. So if we change even to an ellipse. To conclude now. Oh, okay. So um, if we change to this kind of drift, so I think we have, um, uh, it's also possible to get uh, less, less, less convergence. So I think I will, uh, that's the, the way we are designing this, this, this drift. So I will just uh, move to, um, to this uh, to my final uh, final drift here, and you can see that we act we at the end. Y aquí pueden ver eh, que al final eh, tenemos las secciones en forma de arco eh, eh, para la rigidez eh, con eh, bueno de desviaciones con rigidez de roca moderada. Y, y después eh, tenemos aquí la profundidad y pueden eh, verla. Eh, See, uh, with high compressive strain, we can use this kind of drift. So I think that's what I can present for today. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Eric, for a very interesting presentation. Uh, again, we run out of time for questions. So if you want, you can leave your, your email in the chat and, and the assistants can contact you directly for any, for any questions. OK, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, uh, llegamos a la final.